Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Bohem Style. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. And I will also leave individual links to the beads that I get in this box in case you just want a few things from this box, alright? So let's go ahead, open this up, and see what we got. Now this month there is a ribbon on the box, and all this time they've been using a gold string. And I would like to reuse this ribbon, so hopefully... Oh, it's not a... Uh, can I get it off without cutting it? Yeah, I want to reuse it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to try to get that knot undone. And you know what's really good for getting knots undone is chain nose pliers. I use them all the time. So in case you're new to this subscription, this here is a piece of paper that has a link to a video tutorial showing us how to make the projects in this box. Alright, so let's see. Oh, these hearts again. I got these before. I love these hearts. I've got them in this color, in purple and white. You know, I want to say one other color, but maybe it was just two. But it is so pretty. This has a bronze luster on it. It is a gorgeous bead. Those are pretty. This here is a extension chain, but this one's different. It's more decorative. It has a little dangle on it, a little teardrop dangle. I like that little decorative touch on there. Something I'm trying to remind myself to do more often is whenever I have an extension chain, I'm trying to remember to put a little bee dangle that matches the rest of the necklace on the end of the chain, just because it's a little nice touch to have. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a giant jump ring pretty darn big. The, the next one's even bigger. Look at that one. That's huge. Um, I recently had an order from Craftica, also known as Check Beads Exclusive, and um, I was gonna order some rings but ended up selling out on me before I make the purchase. Um, if you didn't see that bead haul, I'll put a picture of it up now in case you want to go and watch it. This ring is bigger, and it's not just bigger, but the gauge of the wire is much thicker. So that might be like 18 or 16. This could be like 12 gauge, 12, 12 or 14. It's really thick. <laughs> it's like a little ring. It's cute. Oh, we have gold bead, bead stringing wire. We don't usually get gold. We usually have the silver color. Okay. And then we have more jump rings. 8 millimeter size. And this is copper, by the way. It's not antique brass. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. We have 6 millimeter jump rings. And these are oval jump rings here. I don't know what size that is. Maybe 5. And these beads, oh my gosh, cathedral beads. Um, I gotta show you guys. A while back, there was a necklace that was done with cathedral beads in this box. These beads are pricey. They are not cheap. and There's a ton in this bag. It is loaded. That necklace had so many beads in it. Oh my gosh. I will look for a picture of the necklace I'm talking about and put it up. That was epic. I like the design and this both pieces were really pretty. And again, the beads, the quality of the beads. They are gorgeous. Whole bunch of colors. There's topaz, there's teal, there's purple, red, olivine, 
that's an orange. Maybe. Or is that the topaz? It's like a brown orange color. There's a lot of colors in there. This is a four millimeter bead. That's a ton. I wonder if I go to, you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna get, get my bead scooper. I wonder if I were to uh, put the code in, if it would show up all of these in one bag, or if it's just like uh, they're using more for this project, you know, so they did more beads. Holy moly. That's a lot of beads. Yeah, that is so full. There has to be like over a hundred there. And then we have their crimp beads, which I just bought these in that haul. Because they're really good quality. They're heavy duty crimp beads. They're the nicest crimp beads. Usually the crimp beads I get are very uh, easy to break, but those are heavy. Strong. We have uh, copper ball head pins. And I'm really excited about the antique copper color here. Because uh, I've been using it a lot. And it's like my current favorite metal color. And we have two lobster claw crafts. And these are antique bronze. So maybe we're going to have a mix of colors. And we have more ball head pins. And there's more cathedral. More ball head pins. Hmm, there's three of those. Three of those and three of those. I wonder what this design's going to look like. More cathedral beads. This is a different color mix. Well, I've never seen this color in a cathedral. It's like one of my favorite purples right there. It's like purple pink, the opal. Pretty mix. It's so sparkly. Have you ever seen this bead uncut? It is so usual unusual looking. I got a few of them. Mustache. Those are awesome. Oh, almost forgot one. Okay, hope I didn't lose any. Right, so that's the bigger cathedral. This is an eight millimeter size. And then we have a fancy check glass speed that I have never seen before. I wonder if these are going to be in the center. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Um, this has a lot of clear in it with this burnt orange color. I don't know if my camera's showing it. It actually looks really blurry for some reason. There is Picasso or Travertine on it. I've never seen this shape. You see the light shining through it back here? It's very clear on this side. It kind of looks like lava. Flowing in a lava lamp or something. It's really neat. Okay, and then we have a chain. And that's everything in the box. So this is my last item. Is this a cable chain? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot here. A lot. This is long. Um, I think that's about two feet of chain. So look at this chain. Do you see how the links are flat like they are hammered? Trying to get my camera to focus. It's an oval link, but it's flattened. That's a cable chain. Whenever you see this link and it's not flattened, it's round links. They're not flattened like a hammer. Let's flatten them. That's a Rolo. 
But still, it's, you know, shaped like Rolo. It's just it's flattened. Anyways, that's pretty. I love that copper chain. Alright, so I'm very excited. There are so many cathedral beads here. I think this is going to be a centerpiece. And I'm wondering if these are going to be in the center. Or maybe it's going to be like an asymmetrical necklace or something. I don't know. I'm excited and I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. And remember, I always put a picture of the finished piece at the beginning and end of this video. Again, I will leave a link to the subscription box down there below in the description bar, and I will also leave individual links here to the beads in case you want to get yourself some. And this is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this box opening. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos, and follow me in my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.